And today marks 143 years since the establishment of the four Māori seats in Parliament. Speaking of Māoris in Parliament, let's go to Jody and our guests for this morning. Kia ora Scotty. Joining me today, Māori Party co-leader Dr Peter Sharples and Māori List MP Shane Jones. Kia ora. Kia ora gentlemen. Welcome. Ora. Welcome. Yeah. Peter, what has the Māori Party done to actually support emerging local politicians? Well, we uh, campaigned heavily to get uh, Māori seats uh, on the new super city and uh, clearly we didn't succeed in that and that's largely due to an ultimatum by Rodney Hyde to, to the government that unless uh, that he would actually step down from his role as the Minister of Local Government if they went along with uh, pre-designated seats for Māori on that council, which is rather disappointing that he would stick to a principle of his in the face of perhaps giving Māori a voice because they haven't had it and they don't usually succeed in local bodies as, as well as uh, perhaps they should. You're in coalition government. Some people might say the Māori Party didn't work hard enough. To do what? To have more Māori representation. In oh, the well, we marched, we had hui, we, uh, we, I was in cabinet every second week uh, fighting the fight. And in the end of the day, you know, the majority votes. The all at that time from the Māori Party was strong, heavy. You guys were everywhere. What it's, happened? It still is heavy. If you go to Matatini, you'll see our haka. It's still all about the seats and uh, the injustice that was done in that sense. Um, but also we're looking to tono, uh, to the t new mayor. We've already had uh, an assurance from one of them that he'd look seriously at uh, putting you know, guaranteed seats for Māori in there. On top of that, I set up the statutory body that allows a Māori body to challenge the council and monitor their activities and have input into their activities outside of the council structure. Look, Labour supported Len Brown, National supported John Banks. Why didn't the Māori Party pick a person and support them through the process? Oh, because we really followed the general uh, flow of the people, Ngāti Whātua, Tainui and the other uh, mana whenua groups here in, in one, getting the statutory body up in the first place, but secondly, uh, looking at avenues by which we could actually uh, change the situation and get Māori uh, on the designated seats. Sure. Uh, Shane, Ngāti Whātua says a Labour government will get more Māori at local government level. Uh, how do you exactly see that happening? Well, the policy which we adopted, which is different from what um, Peter's just described, and I suppose it's not surprisingly, I disagree with Pete. It's hard to imagine a more crucial issue that the Māori Party should and could have fought on. I think it's an issue that they ought to have tested the mettle of the Prime Minister. Are you serious in the promotion of Māori in the context of democracy, rather than have bigotry triumph over equity. So, in my view, they did lead a loud haka, but in the end they were like beached whales, and that's just an issue where him and I are going to just disagree on. Having said that, our focus is really, if you're on the Māori roll, as uh, we did with the Waiariki during the last decade, then you can vote for a Māori candidate. We did not... <coughs> Um, openly oppose a mana whenua uh, franchise, but we said, look, if you're on the Māori roll, it's simple. You have a Māori candidate, bang, you, vote in a, you can vote in a Māori. Do you want to respond to that? Oh, just that uh, I'm glad that Shane was able to march on the march that we organised uh, to protest in Queen Street against <coughs> that thing. Um, I don't think I disagree with much of what he said, except that we did fight the fight right to the end. At the end of the day, he should know this as an ex-Cabinet member, that uh, when Cabinet has a vote, that's it. And, and so you go with the, with the vote. What is the next step, though? People might ask, what is the Māori Party going to do now? What we're going to do is, one, uh, challenge the Mayor and the new Council to put in designated seats. Secondly carry on and develop uh, the progress of the statutory body which, uh, w which is now uh, on its way. They're selecting their candidates right now. They're, they're an official body. Okay. Shane, are you standing for Manirewa at the next election? Well, uh, the options are still open. Uh, I was challenged as to whether or not I was going to actually um, uh, bugger off from politics earlier this year. No, I've decided to stay in politics. What and led to that decision? <clears throat> um, Predominantly the fact that my whanau and my people, they had a lot of confidence in me, even when I was a young boy at St Stephen's School. So I decided, right, I'll hang around in politics. The seat that I stand in, 
uh, I haven't determined, but I look forward to coming back as a List MP, at the very least. So Māori Seats National have said they'll hold a referendum to discuss the abolition of the Māori Seats if they got into a second term. What's the Labour view on that? No, no, the Labour view is very unambiguous. The Māori Seats will remain for as long as uh, New Zealanders of Māori descent choose to support them. Now, if it comes to pass that there's a mass migration of Māori off the Māori seats onto the general seats, then they'll wither by dint of Māori disinterest in those seats. At one point, did you say that you would never stand on a Māori seat? No, what I um, said is in the, no <coughs> in the north, I'd never stand against Hone Why? Well, we're both from the same tribe, and rightly or wrongly, it may have been the wrong decision that I made. <laughs> we, uh, in fact, members of the Māori Party keep encouraging me to stand against them. <laughs> Is that but, you, uh, have no, you? No, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I think the deal face. was yeah. that uh, yeah. um, I'm as much Dalmatian Parker as I'm Māori, so I was going to stand in a general seat. But no, no I've never ever um, been repugnant to the notion of the Māori seats, and I am on the Māori roll, as I've been to the best of my knowledge since I left St Stephen's School. Let me clarify one thing that he said about the National Party kind of hold a referendum or whether to do away with the Māori seats. That's all been put aside because now they've approved what we have asked for as an investigation into where the treaty stands and the whole question of uh, constitution in New Zealand. So there's no move at this time for National to do away with the seats. That's what they've guaranteed us. Is it a breaker for the next election? No, well, it's, it's not a breaker. It's going to happen. We're already setting up uh, the ministerial committee. I'm co-chair of the ministerial committee. We'll set up the TAG, the working group, that will go out and do this, and it will begin next year. Hmm. OK. <clears throat> Paul Henry won't be fronting breakfast tomorrow morning because he's been suspended. Is that appropriate punishment, do you think? I think Paul uh, has to go. Mm. It's, it's that simple. I mean... Um... Party <coughs> leaders haven't been very vocal about that this yeah, week. So why are you saying that? Why have you, that? Why you guys that? not turned on television New Zealand? The two most senior Māori mm. parliamentarians are you and Tuddy, and your voices have been silent. Well, mine hasn't. Maybe I haven't been shown, but I've, I've said publicly that, uh, that it's not on, and, and he should go. Because um, you can't have that kind of... Well, no matter what you say, the underlying inference was racist. It was. And therefore, you can't have that as a front person being paid by the mm. public to do this show. But it's about what he's talking mm. about. What is he yeah. talking about? No, he the must go. General. He must Top go. Top job. Yeah, definitely. The deepest offence is here's a man whose parents came from poverty in Fiji. They trained him, they supported him to go through schooling, he became a lawyer, he became a judge for goodness sake, yeah. and then he rises to become a Governor General. What is offensive in relation to New Zealand's political heritage about that? Paul Henry must go. Kia ora Shane, thank you. Hopefully that will be sorted out. Tēnā koe gentlemen, thank you very Kia ora. much for coming on. Jody. Kia ora Scotty. Kia ora Jody. Tēnā koutou katoa.